right, today on this video we are talking about the Flex Solar Solar Panel. This is a charging solar panel for electronic devices. I've been eyeing a number of different panels um, because I do spend multiple days uh, out in the backcountry, especially coming up in the next couple of weeks. I will be in the backcountry of BC hunting elk and will not be near any form of electricity but have camera gear with me and I need to keep my batteries charged. This is hopefully my saving grace. I have yet to put this to task but I'll have a full review of this when I get back. The reason why I chose the Flex Solar Panel over the other more popular panels is that it is 40 watts and it delivers 40 watts. A lot of these other panels are a lot smaller and they say they deliver 20, 18 to 20, but they actually do more like 11 or 12. And it can take hours and hours and sometimes, depending on the sun, an entire day to charge a phone or a small type of battery. Um, this has got multiple outputs. It's got a USB-A your regular USB. It's got a USB-C, which is more standard for the cell phones and other electronic devices. And it's got your DC port for those bigger items that you want to keep charged, such as those larger uh, power banks um, that you might need for larger items. Uh, it fits, it rolls up to about the size of, i say like a hardcover book or a um, sheet of paper and it's not super thick you can throw this right in your backpack um, it's pretty cool now it is fairly large normally these panels go to about here or maybe even here this has six panels in total they are flimsy they're not covered under a protective sheeting like some of these other ones are. They are waterproof, which some of these other ones are not. Another factor that I'm looking forward to is I am going to a very rainy place in Canada. Again, folds right back up into itself, right back in your bag. It's awesome. Now, two things that I noticed right off the bat that would be nice to have added, but was not going to be a make or break as I mainly cared about the power output on this it doesn't have anything to seal this shut when you're done with it it'd be nice to have some velcro or something that keeps this clasped cl like closed um, but again it's going to be in my backpack probably smushed against other things and won't uh, unravel too much second it doesn't have a kickstand some of these come with kickstands to hold them up this is going to have to either be laying directly on the ground or leaning up against a rock or a pile of wood or your bag or something. Um, I think the idea will be that I leave this back at camp plugged into one of my power banks. I do have two portable power banks so I'll be using this to charge these and then using these to charge the devices. Um, some of these with the power going up and down um, you can risk damaging the battery if you plug your device directly into this. This does not have that. It has a regulator in here that ma manages the power output to keep it steady so that you don't have any battery failures on your other devices. USB 3, BC 3.0. It's got a 5 volt 3A, 9 volt 2A, and a 12 volt 1.5A max. The DC output is 19 volts or 2.1 amp max. And the USB-C 2.0 output is the 40 watt max. So lots of power, um, especially in this compact design. There are larger ones out there, but again, you're getting into enormous sizes and you'd need like a separate backpack just to carry them around. I was not interested in that. I was looking at the 10 to 20 watt panels from other companies as soon as I saw this compact as it is the output that it is and watch some other reviews this is going to be awesome so we've got some full sun out there today 
I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to plug in my power bank, my anchor power bank into this. It's about half dead. It's got two of the four bars, so we're about halfway. I'm going to plug it in. I'll check the watch. I'll come back and check on it. And we'll see just how long it takes to get this to full power. It has these corner pieces punched out. It does come with two carabiners. You can hang this up if you want. Uh, depending on where the sun is, you're going to want to put it in the best possible position for the sun to make sure that you have the best results. Uh, it weighs 45.9 ounces. It's very light and it does not have a uh, onboard battery that charges. So some of these um, panels will have a battery built in that will charge and then you can charge off of the battery that's been charged on the device. This does not have that. If you don't have sun, you're not getting the output. So just something to think about. Um, but again, I just recommend, uh, it does say you can charge your devices directly from here, which is great. I'll be charging power banks and then using the banks to charge the devices and taking the banks with me in my bag when I leave camp. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to take this outside, we're going to give it a go and see what we come up with and then when I come back from BC, middle of September, I'll have a much better idea of how this worked out and uh, do a full blown review then. It's also a good idea to remember when you are plugging in your devices into things like solar panels to not leave the device out in direct sunlight. It's always good to cover it. Have it behind something, have it in the shade, so you don't uh, heat up the device too much. The sun is about up there, behind those clouds, so I'll lay it out over here and see how we do. is registering that it's being charged at blinking light we're charging even though there's a fair bit of cloud cover we're still getting a bit of a charge so we'll come back and see how we do we just moved it over here to follow the sun and it's taken about three hours it up. Good to go. It took about three hours total for the Flex Solar to get the other battery from half to fully charged. Uh, it still is way better than those other solar panels that say anywhere from eight to ten hours uh, from dead to full. So if I'm around six hours from dead to full, I'm still saving a bunch of time. So I'm very happy with those results. Again, results will vary depending on sun, cloud cover, and just how well uh, your panel can stay in direct sunlight. So there you go, those are the results. Didn't take as long as I thought. Very happy with my purchase. Uh, I found this online in um, at Amazon. I believe it was about $114. Canadian. Um, you might be able to find it other places. For more information on Flex Solar and their other solar products, head on over to flexsolarenergy.com. They do make a number of different products, larger items, um, as well as the smaller things like this. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. It's really helping out the channel, getting the word out. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.